and this is like really tiny, like tiny, tiny scale. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A few months ago I tested out a jesmonite craft kit from a site called Resonate and I thought it was pretty decent. You can see the video... You can see the video in one of these corners. I always forget which one it is. But because I enjoyed it so much, I thought I would try out another one of their resin-based craft kits. And hopefully it'll be just as good as the last one. So this is the resin craft kit that I bought. The Dazzling Duo Jewelry Kit for Friends. Now I don't have any friends with me at the minute, so I'm going to be making it on my own. And that's okay. It's okay to make these things on your own. It's fine. And this kit cost us $34.95, which I don't think is too bad for a resin kit. But we'll see. And it looks like we're getting all of this stuff inside, which looks very nice. And this is some of the jewelry they made, which looks really great to be fair. If I could get them results, I'll be very pleased with myself. It says, have a crafty day with your best friend. And my best friend's not here with us. Can I do it on my own? Is that allowed? They've been inclusive here. It says, or oh, alternatively, how about making all pieces yourself? Thank you, I will. I will make them for myself. I deserve a little present. So I can design and make delightful silver plated pendants, bracelets and earrings as alluringly subtle or as vibrantly dramatic as you feel. There's nothing subtle about me. I am gonna be going for vibrantly dramatic. Those are the words that appeal to me. It's perfect for beginners looking to start their journey into making resin jewelry. I've made resin jewelry before. I used UV resin last time I made resin jewelry, which I'll leave a card again somewhere up there for you to watch if you haven't seen it and uv resin is just really easy to do so this will be a little bit different but I, I do know how to use epoxy it shouldn't be too bad so it's got all this stuff in it looks like it has plenty of jewelry components and the resin stuff and some mika powders good good it's it seems like it's going to be a relatively decent kit that's going to have pretty much everything inside it that you need and i do have to keep in mind that this is for beginners so I'll remember that when it comes to the end and I review it. Don't want to be too critical. Okay, so here's the little kit. And as you can see, I haven't sneak peeked or anything like that. This is my first impression. I also hate these things, packing peanuts. I can't stand them. Just use paper or bubble wrap or something. They're a nightmare to get rid of. Okay, so it's very similar packaging to the last one, if I remember rightly. And it includes pictorial instructions. I actually remember the instructions for the last kit being really, really good. And I hate instructions so much. I find them very difficult to follow. But with these, they were, they were pretty helpful. Yeah, so it gives you a little step-by-step -step guide on what to do. And it shows you the pictures as well, which I, I appreciate. Yeah. Oh, a nice bit of tissue paper. I'll keep that. See, we recycle these things. You never know, they'll come in handy. I've got a drawer full of tissue paper, but one more can't hurt. It told me to cover the table last time, and I already told them I don't care about my table. Clearly. I've ruined it so much. Uh, so you are going to need a few things. So like you're going to need some pliers, kitchen towel, baby wipe. Why do I need baby wipes for? Ah, uh, so maybe I should do it on something so I can move it. What do I have? Hmm. I've got some blocks of wood. I'll just put them on here. Okay, so it's wanting me to blue tack these things to a surface. I don't know why. That's additional. I don't think that really matters. Let me just have a look through everything just so I know where I'm at. I've got a little bit of pigment there. Some mega powders, lovely. Lots of jewelry bits and bobs. It's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. So these must be your two necklaces. I think that's why they want you to attach it with blue tack because if you look there, these kind of loop over. So if I was laying it flat on the surface, the resin is gonna kind of gather at the bottom and not be at the top. So maybe say I'm gonna have to blue tack it. Great. Fortunately, I have a studio filled with things. So I do have some blue tack left over. There's 10 mils of hard and large cut wooden and then harden to ensure. Right, I think I know what I'm doing. So I need to prepare my little resin things first. Try not to lose these other bits because otherwise I won't be able to make my jewelry. Right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna stick all of these onto here with blue tack just so they're prepared, ready for the resin. And I will say you get a ton of these, like look how many. I think all of these are for the bracelets. This is for the earrings and they're the two necklaces. So I'm kind of shocked at how much is actually in here. And yeah, the blue tack is just basically to keep the resin nice and even. It's very much an extra step, a step I would normally skip over, but for the sake of this, I'm gonna do it properly. I don't want anyone in the comments saying 
you should have done this, you should have done that. I'm going to try and group them together as well, so I know what's what. And then when I'm making the resin and pouring it in, I can make them cohesive and so they can match. Okay, that's all then prepared. And I think the next step is basically just mixing my resin up, adding colours, pigments, and doing what I want to do with it, really. Right, so we have our resin here, part A, which is the resin, and that's the catalyst. And their instructions are a little bit weird. It's telling us to measure out 10 of the resin and 10 of the hardener, 10 mils, and then pour it into this cup to mix, and then to separate it into three separate cups, which I don't think makes any sense. Surely you could just add 10 resin into here, and then pour it up to 20, and then then mix it into this one and then pour it into three separate ones. Surely you could just skip a step. I'm going to skip a step because that just makes more sense to me. Put my gloves on, I don't want dermatitis. And if you don't know, you can get dermatitis from touching resin. I think it's called contact dermatitis, I'm not sure. But my skin's a mess anyway. But I will put the gloves on so I'm setting a good example. And now we just mix this up. The thing is, I'm always used to working on such a bigger scale. And this is like really tiny, like tiny, tiny scale. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I feel when you're doing things that are much bigger, you're able to get away with more. Whereas when it's so small, you have to be very, very precise. And I struggle with that. Okay, that's mixed. And now I just need to pour this into these three cups, just a little bit. Okay. Perfect. So, we want to mix some of one of the Mika powders into one. Oh, that's a nice colour, that. Look at that. Nice blue. Another Mika powder into another one. Oh, that's a nice colour as well. It's a nice dark blue. Probably can't see that very well on camera. No, you can't. You'll have to wait till the end. And then, this is just regular opaque white pigment. Great. Okay, so all of them are mixed up. Now what am I doing? Basically now it just says to do whatever you fancy. It's giving you some basic instructions using the cocktail stick to kind of drag it through. That's great. That's what I like. I like to see that. So, this is the fun creative part. I'm gonna go for some white resin onto this necklace. Okay, there's a base for that one. I'll go for a dark blue for the next one. I'm gonna use light blue for my earrings. And obviously you wanna make sure the resin gets right to the sides, but you don't wanna put too much in so that it's gonna overflow. I'm so tempted to go get my other Mika powders and just go crazy with colors, but I'm not going to. I wanna keep it the same color theme as what they've got. It does say in the instructions that you can use basically anything you've got at home to make it your own as well. You don't have to follow their instructions or their kind of theme. But for the purpose of this, to show what the kit is actually like, I'm just gonna use what they've provided. I'm gonna add the glitters and stuff as well. I'm not gonna keep it just boring colors. Well, they're not boring colors, I quite like the colors, but I want them a little bit more pizzazz. Okay, so there's the bases done. Now I can add some fun times with it. So I think with this white one, you want some dark blue in there. And I'm gonna do their cocktail stick idea and kind of drag it through. Yeah, a little bit of advice if you're gonna do this. Maybe don't put so much resin in as the base because when you come to put more colors in, then it fills it up a bit further. But I didn't think of that, did I? I wanna add some of that glitter. So in amongst the little fine glitters, they've got chunky glitters. I think they all look nice, kind of dotted around. Also, the battery on my camera is about to die, so I am having a rush. Okay, I think I'm done with them. Ah, oh, no, I want a little bit more on this one. I'm lying, I'm not done, I'm not done. I'll be done soon. This one needs something. Maybe there's a little bit more on this one as well. Okay, I think I'm done now. Now, looking at their images, I definitely think they've had a way better technique when it comes to applying the pigments. But I'm recording a video and my batteries are about to die, so I've had a really rush. But I think it's gonna look okay. Some of them are a little bit more minimal, some of them are a little bit more extra, and I think they will look quite cohesive and nice together. That's the idea. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put these to one side, I'll leave them for a day, maybe it's two, it depends when I get back to 
do more recording and then we can assemble our jewelry and see what the finished product looks like. So this is what my set epoxy resin jewelry components look like and they're looking pretty decent. I did go back and add a little bit more pigment and a little bit more glitter off camera just to make it a little bit more complicated because it was looking very basic and they're surprisingly light as well. I, I was expecting them to be quite heavy. So now basically it's just to add all the chains and stuff. I think I'll start with the necklaces first. Okay so we've got two chains there and two Two little loop parts. I'm not sure what these loop parts are for actually. Yeah on there's the necklace just thread straight through this top bit so I'm not sure what these two parts are for. I'll leave them to one side just in case I need them. So for the necklaces you just thread this all the way through and then hook it at the top. Voila! Gorgeous! And do number two. Yes, I think they look pretty decent. Really easy to make as well. Not bad at all. Right, I think we'll do the earrings next because I think they're going to be pretty easy as well. And don't worry, at the end, I think I might do a little fashion show for you. So you can see what all the jewellery looks like together. Just in case you want to know what it looks like on a model. Okay, so this is where your pliers come in handy. And unfortunately, my pliers are pretty naff. So hopefully this is going to work. So I just need to... Peel this part open, it's quite difficult to see because everything's so small. But there's like a little loop on here. You just pull it open and then add your earring bit to it. And then you just want to close it back up with your pliers. Lovely. Just repeat that for all the others now. Yeah, so I think they're looking quite nice. And they were really easy to make as well. The earrings and the necklaces, no problems at all so far. Right, now on to the bracelets. I think these will be the most complicated ones to do. Are them extra parts that were in the necklace one? It was actually out of the bracelet one and I just didn't realize and I put it in the wrong bag. Good job I didn't throw it away. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know how this is gonna work. Right, and these little loop things, these are called jump rings and it basically just attaches one component to another. You need to open these little jump rings up, thread it through this thing, which is called a T-bar apparently. And this is very fiddly. <laughs> Once you get it through there, you just thread your bracelet component through and then pinch it closed, ah, like so. And then we do the same for the entire thing and add that on the end and then do the same for the smaller bracelet and then we should have two gorgeous bracelets. Okay, so that's my two bracelets done and it wasn't too bad to make actually. It was quite easy. I think once you get the hang of it, it isn't too bad. I will say though that the little bracelet, the ones with the tiny things, is absolutely huge in length. It's really big. I tried it on and it was massive. But let me show you what it looks like on, just so you get the full effect. So you know what you can look like. It's going to take me a while to get dressed. Also, I couldn't get this one on my wrist because it kept snapping off. I think my arms are just too fat for it. <laughs> but what are my overall thoughts on this little resin craft kit from Resonate? I'd have to give it five pendants out of five. I think it's a really decent kit, especially for beginners who are getting into epoxy resin. I think it's a really nice little starter kit. And obviously, if you were going to buy this, you could be way more creative with it than what I've been with it. <laughs> Sentence didn't make sense. <sighs> You know what I mean. Also, you don't need friends to use it or to give it to friends either. You could just wear it all yourself. Doesn't look stupid at all. But that about does it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts are on this little kit down below in the comments. And I'll see you on Friday for the continuation of December double uploads. Bye.